What's up everybody, True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2021 year end top tens as we look at my number nine cruiserweight in the world right now at 200 pounds, the uh, contender Tabizo Mushunu, who is, um, you know, he entered the year, he was coming off of a, you know, a good uh, 2019 and, and 2020 where he threw himself uh, really hardcore in the mix um you know with like that victory over Dennis Lebedev he had a, he got a rematch win over Thomas Ustuzian uh, a couple years back and then he was able to defeat um Dennis Lebedev the former unified champion former number one cruiserweight in the world he was able to defeat him that threw him in the mix but he entered um 2021 as the as one of the number one contenders one of the contenders for the WBC title that was held that's held by Ilunga Makabu and he was waiting around to get his mandatory or find out what was going to happen because the WBC in 2020 had ordered two fighters as the mandatory challenger they ordered to be so Mishunu and they ordered Alexei Papin um, everybody thought Mishunu would get the opportunity first and he is but nobody knew that Makabu wasn't going to fight at all in 20 uh, 2021 but Mishunu stayed busy um, in March and got a 12 round unanimous decision win against Evgeny uh, Tyshenko um, and just kept his mandatory position you know in line for um, for a title shot and now that title shot's coming um, on January 29th Mushunu has the opportunity to, to avenge a, a loss earlier in his career to Alunga Makabu I want to say it was 2015-2016 uh, they were fighting a very close fight, and uh, Makabu knocked out Mishunu in the 11th round of that of that fight, and um, you know move forward with. They both have moved on and and are both better. And now the question is, which guy is the better man? And um, I'll get to back to that fight in a second. His stat line is he previously wasn't ranked, so now he is ranked at number nine, 33 years old. So he's getting his first title shot, and. He wants to take advantage of it. He is hungry. Um, overall, he's 23 and five with 13 knockouts. And as I said, he's a WBC's number one contender. So that you know, he needs to strike while the iron's hot here against Macabu, and he's very hungry. And also, something else that makes him hungrier is the potential uh, Canelo Alvarez fight for the winner. You know, Canelo and his people um, have expressed interest in fighting the winner of this fight. To, so Canelo can grab a hold of a championship in a fifth weight class. So, you know, and become the first Mexican to do that. So, it's a big deal. This fight is a big deal for Mishunu on a lot of levels. It's his first title shot. That's a big deal. He has a chance at revenge. That's a big deal. And a potential Canelo fight is it could be there. That's a, ma a major deal. So, um, Mishunu, January 29th, going in against the vet against the very good veteran Makabu. I think Mishunu's a live underdog in this fight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled off the upset and won a decision from Makabu. I personally feel Makabu's going to win this fight. I think it could end the way it did last time by a late stoppage, or I think it's going to be a close decision win for Makabu. Um, but again, I think it could go either way. I think Mishunu has a good chance of pulling off the upset. He's been hot, and we're going to see uh, if he can if he can make a dent against Ilunga Makabu in his neck on January 29th for the WBC title. So we'll see what happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as my 2021 year-end top tens continue. This was my number nine cruiserweight in the world right now at 200 pounds to be so Mishunu. I hope you guys enjoyed it. True Boxing.